Fascinating. This just in, a storm has appeared out of nowhere in southeast Australia. Meteorologists are stumped by this anomaly in the weather that appeared so suddenly. As we continue to investigate, we will keep you informed. As always, tune in to Rorian News on 6 to stay up to date on everything happening. Hey guys, Jack here back with another video and today we are playing Lumion Legacy. Now, you guys remember that game that I had on my channel before that was called uh, Roblox Pokemon Brick Bronze? Yeah, that got deleted from, from Ro Roblox, so uh, then the developers made this game because, like, a lot of people, a lot of people like me, liked, uh, Pokemon Brick Bronze, so they made Lumion Legacy, which was, which is not as good, in my opinion, but it's still pretty good, and I am ch going to make a series on this game today, so we've got our little Lumi Watch on, and you saw that intro with uh, all, all the... The, the rock and the thing, whatever, <laughs> I can't words. Hey honey, could you please come downstairs? Yes, mom. Oh, there you are. Your father called a moment ago. He was at the dig site when the storm came. He said something very interesting has happened to the stone tablet he's been studying. He insists on showing you. Oh, I see you tried on, tried on your new Lumi watch. To set it up, you have to press this button. Which is, I guess, the menu button. Please enter your name. You all, you guys already know my name. It's Jack. Yes. I'll teach you more about your new Lumi watch later. For now, I need to get going. I need to check. I need to go check on the Lumians that we've been carrying for at the lab. They aren't trained yet, and they startle easily. Don't forget, your father wanted to, wanted you to go see him at the dig site. Be careful in the weather out there. Yes, mom, I will do exactly as you say. New objective, go talk to dad at the dig site. Now, just a, just a warning for you guys right now. This game isn't fully finished yet. It's still got a, a lot of bugs. Well, maybe. And it's still, uh, do it doesn't have all the gyms yet. So, just give it a little patience. I'm just gonna, like, do videos up until, like, the most recent point. If I do videos, if you guys want to see this stuff. So this is the the rock that was in like the intro with like my dad. This is my dad right there and this is some random scientist dude. And they're studying this rock. Oh there you are Jack. I see you got my messages from your mother. Our message. You'll never believe what just happened. First we were outside when the storm clouds appeared out of nowhere. Rain came pouring down suddenly so we ran in here to t seek shelter. That's when the text on this tablet suddenly expected, unexpectedly began to glow. The characters actually came off and completely rearranged, rearranged themselves. I know it sounds crazy, but you will find that this text does not match what we previously recorded. What's happening now? And the letters are disappearing for some unknown reason. And the rocks are flying out. This makes no sense. I can't believe it. The tablet, it's actually gone. All that research, we, we, it just got up and, it just got up and flew away. Oh my god. Oh my kids. What are we going to do? We're gonna have our son go and get it for us. This isn't good. We weren't able to finish transcribing the new text. Pieces of the stone tablet seem to have all gone off in different directions. I think someone or something didn't want us reading that, that message. We're going to have to search for all of the pieces so that we can continue to study 
the stone. That's odd. The rain seems to have stopped. Jack, I'm going to Lumian Laboratory. Lumian Laboratory to update your mother on all of this. You should meet us there when we, when you get a chance. See you later. All right, I guess I'll see you guys at the laboratory. Epic then. transition. Was that nice? Did I did I do a good job? Please tell me I did a good job. All right, we're in the Lumi thing now. Hey Jack, I'm glad to see that you made it back safely, sweetie. Hey Champ, good timing. I was just catching your mother up on what happened at the dig site. So for months you've been studying that mysterious stone you found. And it starts acting weird around the same time that mysterious storm appeared over town. That can't be a coincidence. I believe- oh wait, no. I believe you are right. Soon after the text change on the stone, it was broken and the pieces were scattered in the wind. In the wind? What do you mean they flew off? It did, it's not like the wind blew them away, they're rocks. <laughs> I didn't even get enough time to transcribe the new message on the tablet before the pieces disappeared. You told me that you had deciphered the original text weeks ago. What did the original message say again? It roughly translated to, The creature's secret lies dormant within until the day of awakening it comes again. What? <laughs> what does that mean? If I could only get the pieces of the tablet back, I could decipher its new message. Hopefully whatever it said could give us some clue. Did you happen to see where they went? No, they flew, they flew out in every direction. There is no telling where they could have gone. Didn't you tell me that the tablet eliminated, emanated a subtle but unique energy signature? Yes, it interfered with our equipment while we were digging nearby. That is what led us to it in the first place. What if you fine-tune that technology to detect the missing pieces of the tablet? Hmm, yes. Hmm, yes, this floor is made out of floor. Yes, that just might work. If I had access to a, a satellite array, I could emit a signal strong enough, strong and wide enough to detect the pieces. But who do I know that has a facility equipped with a satellite array? This one. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You wanna use my equipment? Is that okay with you, dear? Of course. I'm interested to see if this is tied to Illumian. I've yet to do document. Of course it is. It always is. You already know. Excellent, thank you. They they act like a soap opera in these games. I, I have no idea why. I do wonder, though, how will you be able to operate your machine here while searching for the missing pieces at the same time? That is a good question. Uh, don't look at uh, me. Okay, sorry, I'll stop. My field research uh, days are coming to a close. I'm getting too old to go on adventures looking for spooky rocks. Maybe if I was still in my prime. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Derek. I actually had some someone else in mind. Sweetheart, do you know how... How do you feel about letting Jack go in my place to search for the stones? I think that it's extremely irresponsible and you're very stupid. Why don't you just go yourself? I think that would be perfect. I've been thinking of trusting Jack with a Lumion from the lab for quite some time now. I would love nothing more than to see our child on an adventure, Lumians by their side, experiencing what I did when I was a child, or young. Ah yes, the life of a Lumian trainer. What do you think, Jack? Will you help me out? Your mother is offering to give you your very first Lumian to help you along the way. Thanks for letting me answer, game. This is great. That's the biggest grin I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I'd say Jack has been wanting some, has been wanting something this like this for. Oh my God, I can't speak for a while. I'm certainly not surprised one bit, considering how much Jack watches battle theater shows on TV. That's perfect, champ. Maybe one day you'll be on TV when you challenge a battle theater yourself. Well then, it's settled. I need to get set up in here, sweetheart. Why don't we give Jack a Lumion now and then? practice with a quick battle. That's a great idea. It's a horrible idea. Jack, follow me over here and let's find you a Lumion you like. This is so exciting. Picking up your first Lumion is so special. Lumions are lifelong companions that you will never forget. That's an extreme exaggeration. Pick the one that you like the most and when you've decided, I'll teach you how to battle. 
Attention everybody, you all remember Jack, don't you? Wait, I've met these before? Gather around, don't be shy. Uh, I think... Let's see here, one of you is missing. Of course, Vivine. Come here, Vivine. Um, you, you guys always know, already know. I always go for the fire types. Embit is my choice. Yes. Uh, am I gonna nickname Embit? Uh... Jeez, uh, sure. I'm gonna name you Pac. Is Pac okay? Yes, of course it is. I'm naming him Pac because one of the characters in Battlefield 4 is called Pac, and I really like Battlefield 4, so that's. Uh, there you go. Now, before we battle, I want to explain a few things. Lumians are companions to their trainers. In a battle, you and your Lumian work together and strategize together to, to defeat your opponents. You'll come across many other wild Lumians and trainers with trained Lumians who will want to battle you. The first person to run out of Lumians that are able to and ah, that are able and willing to fight loses the match. In time you will learn strategies that will help you overcome all your opponents. Now, without further delay, let's see what you can do. That's nice music. For like a two-year-old <laughs> honestly I kind of think this music is annoying all right before we begin we begin I want to explain a few things about battling you'll notice on your Lumi watch that your Lumians health is displayed in green and its energy in purple how are you seeing all of this when your Lumian reaches when your Lumian's health reaches zero it will be unable to battle and you will need to use another Lumian if you have any notice you have four options fight items lumians and run go ahead and select your fight option do i do i get a choice no i have to press fight of course now if you look at your lumians moves you'll notice a number next to etc oh ec i mean i thought it was <laughs> this is the move's energy cost each time you use a move your lumians energy will be reduced by the energy cost of the move. Once you run low on, an, on an energy, you will need to wait or rest. Waiting will replenish a small amount of energy. Resting will replenish much more of your Lumian's energy, but also lowers its defense. If you try to use a move without having enough energy, your Lumian will flail in exhaustion and lose some of its health. Now, without any further ado, let's begin to fight. Alright, I'm gonna use Singe. I'm lucky this is a grass type too, because then I can uh, be even more powerful. Of course, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you guys watch this. Good job, honey. That was an excellent battle. I think you and your Lumian will do just fine as you go on your adventure together. I've got my gear all set up now. Come have a look. This machine will take the signals received from the stone chunks and display on an on screen a general location of where they are. And would you look at that, it's already detecting a signal from Gale Forest. This isn't- that isn't far from here. It's just past Cheshma Town. Well then, Cheshma Town is one of- one town over from us. It's just on the other side of Route 1. You should have no- you should have no trouble getting there. Jack, I need you to travel to Gale Forest and see if you can find the first missing table piece. Tablet piece. Table piece. <laughs> and report back. Your mother and I will will communicate with you over your Lumi Watch. Your Lumi Watch is a powerful piece of technology that is capable of doing many things, like a a smartwatch. If you find anything, give us a call and we'll decide what to do from there. That sounds excellent. Oh, and take this. I got a closet key, so I can lock myself in the closet. I love that. The closet key was stored in the. E okay, I don't care. This this is a key to open the. The door at the back of the lab. I know what this is for, don't worry. Behind the door you'll find a closet containing a few items I think you'll find very useful for your, for the road. I'd like to add that if you are interested in bringing any more of the Yeah, I don't care. Alright now, Jack. I think you are all set to go. Your father and I are here for you when if you need us. Good luck, Jack. Let us know if you need anything. Alright, so over here, this is the closet, and this is what the key she gave me was for. And I can get something in these item boxes. Small meds. Five small meds. 
and five capture discs. I love how my character just kicks them. Like, that would hurt your foot, right? That's metal, pretty sure. Also, I like how I just took the took this embit, and there's an embit still there. Wait, what is my embit size? Oh my god, he's tiny. Okay, doesn't matter. So, um, it, I will admit, I have played this game before, but I've only played up to the second gym, and the more the more stuff that comes out like the more features that come out and the more story that comes out i'll try to play them first on my channel before i play them on my own because my main account is what i use to uh, record all of my videos well no my main account is what i play on when i'm not recording videos so i'm going to use my my main account second and i'm going to use this account first as you can see it's like jack sakroski yt Hoob. and um yeah so I'm gonna play this on this first so you can get the genuine experience and yeah let's just go someone is calling you on your Lumi watch hey Jack it's mom before you run out, run out into route 1 I want to quickly explain something if you used the key I gave you to open the closet in the lab took what was inside the boxes then you should should have some capture discs while adventuring you will run into many interesting wild lumines they pop out as you run through the tall grass outside. You can add these wild lumions to, to your team to help you battle, but to do that you will need to use the capture discs. First you simply weaken any lumion you wish to capture. Then you take a capture disc from your key items at... What? App? How is that an app? And throw it at the lumion. Be careful not to knock it out while weakening it though. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share. Take care of yourself, sweetie. Thank talk you talk to you later. Okay, I'm just gonna skip past this part for you guys so you don't have to watch. Alright, well, now that we're past that area, we can move on to Cheshma Town. Right. Uh any music? Okay, there we go. So, I think in here we get to fight a certain special boy. Actually, we have to fight him. There's no choice. You can't actually progress in, in the story without fighting him. And I also might get a little bit of Lumians here because the Lumians here are actually pretty good. Okay, I got my Kamunga coffee. And I think I'm gonna give that to my Mbit, or to my pack actually. I'm gonna try and name all of my Lumians during this playthrough, obviously, just like I did with uh, Brick Bronze. And now, if you remember, instead of being Kabunga Coffee, that used to be. Um... Oh, I, I actually can't remember. <laughs> um, I'll put it in the video right now. You can see it on the screen. I promise I'm not making any of this up. The Lumians, I saw them with my own eyes. They pos they were possessed with an evil spirit. They attacked me with their incredible strength. The aura it gave off was a was dark and chilling. Something has disturbed the souls of this forest. What you're saying is absurd. There are no evil wild Lumians in these woods. He's right. These woods have always been watched over by a guardian spirit. I've lived in these woods for many years, and I am telling you, I have never seen anything like it, like this. I believe Duskit, the guardian spirit of these woods, may be a key element in the local Lumion's change of behavior. Nonsense. The guardian spirit is a protector of these woods. Sir, your claims simply do not make any sense. Fine, then. Don't listen to me. I know something has disturbed our, our sacred forest, and I will get to the bottom of this myself if I have to. Good day to you, sir. Hey, you! Yes, you! Come here! Oh, I didn't actually expect him to say that. You look like a Lumion trainer. Oh, wow, I, 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 I didn't think you would notice by my Lumion standing right, beside, right behind me. Listen, I need your help. Nobody will believe what I saw earlier today. Something in these woods has changed over the course of the last few days. Dusker, a guardian spirit, has been protected has protected these woods for centuries. I've visited it from time to time, and it's always been gentle. Except, of course, when I went to visit this morning. Would you mind investigating this matter a little more for me? 
I would go back myself, but I am defenseless and cannot withstand another attack. Maybe having two eyewitnesses will convince the law to take this more seriously. Duskit actually resides in a grove deep in the woods under a flowering tree. I'm going to go inside and rest now for a bit. I've had a long day. Good luck, trainer. Young trainer. Yes, my name is Trainer. Young trainer. Grubby. Not my first choice. No, I don't think I'm going to take you, actually. There we go. Alright, buddy, you're coming with me whether you like it or not. Wait, what? When did I learn Burrow? Oh, well, may, as try, may as well try it. Oh, my melee defense. Right. Great. There we go. Should I give a name to the Cathorn? I'm gonna name you... Mothra. Yes. Because eventually you'll turn into a giant moth. That's what Mothra is. If any of you guys have watched Godzilla, you should. Mothra is like one of the best creatures in Godzilla. Alright, well, now that I have my Mothra, I need to actually train it a little bit. So, I'll actually just skip over a lot of this for you guys. Just so you don't, like, get bored. Okay, so now we're at the top of the mountain, and we're at where the Duskit is supposed to be. Yes? Alright, I'm activating my Lumi Watch. Activating. Hey there, champ, what's up? Oh my, it seems you've located one of the lost tablet pieces. Now, this is another part that I extremely don't understand. Excellent work. I knew you could do it. Now, what on earth is that dark goop just beyond the tree? It appears to be radiating the same energy as our tablet piece. Looks as if it's trained, tainted by, by something. I'm going to need that stone as soon as possible to begin examining it. I need to know more about that energy that surrounds it. Go ahead and try try your Lumi Watch's digital transport feature. Yeah, you can teleport items, which makes literally no sense to me. Awesome, I should be receiving it momentarily. Oh, by the way, what is that thing behind you? And this is the Duskit. This is where we fight. Fight the Duskit. It looks more powerful than normal. Isn't that wonderful? I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to beat this guy yet. Yeah, look at that damage. I'm doing like nothing. And he pretty much just insta killed me. I think. Okay, no, I'm actually doing some good damage with Mothra. Yeah, I can't do anything right now. That's good. I'm not gonna be able, be able to take it down with the Mothra, I think. Survived on 4 HP. Oh my god, Mothra, you lucky. No, never mind. <laughs> He's not lucky anymore. Alright, well, Pack is level 8, so you should be able to take it down. Oh, it let its guard down. I can get some good damage off now. Okay, not, not great. That's not too bad. Yes! We took him down! Level 10? Jeez, that's a lot of levels.
Now he just flies away. Bruh. This kit can now be found roaming in the wild. Oh, there you are. I was worried something happened to you when you hung up suddenly. Is everything alright? Hmm, that must have been Duskit, the guardian spirit of Gale Forest. Anyway, I got the tablet piece you sent. From what I can tell so far, it has a strong reaction to light. The corrupted matter seemed to be seemed to completely dissipate when I shined a bright light on, on it. You might be able to destroy that dark blob with a bright light. I have an idea. Sylvan City has a battle theater. As you know, each battle theater has a head trainer known as the Battle Star. If you can defeat a Battle Star's challenge, they will award you with a medal and in some cases in install an exclusive application on your Lumi Watch. Lucky for us, it just so happens that Naya, Battle Star of Sylvent City, has an app that shine that can shine a bright light from your Lumi Watch. Perhaps bright enough to attack the veil of darkness. Jack, I think your next move is for you to wait make your way to Sylvan City and complete the battle theater challenge. While you work on that, I will try to pinpoint the location of another chunk of the tablet. I'll give you another call soon. See ya, champ. Hi there. I watched your battle from... Uh, I can't remember which voice I gave this guy. I watched your battle from, from the distance. It seems a battle with it was all it needed to be freed from the corruption. I've heard reports of other people ca encountering corrupt Lumians around Roria. It does not appear that they can be captured, but I've heard that knocking them out uh, will at times make them drop a mysterious sh shard item that can that contain powerful essence if properly adapt applied for your to put uh, I'm sorry guys this is hard to read if properly applied to your Lumian they could potentially give you your, your Lumian a powerful stat boost all right well I've had enough action for one day I'll be returning home now good luck young adventurer and thanks for your help I didn't really help that. Oh my god, he disappeared. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really help that much. All I did was, like, attack a Lumian. Are you a trainer? Yes, you are. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now there's also another Lumian that I wanted to get over here. And it, on it only comes out at night time, so you gotta be very patient. Oh my god, we got it first try. Except I... I think I'm gonna have to get a female for this to actually work right. Alright guys, well I did catch a Piter, but it's not a uh it's not a female. But I wanted to call it Charlotte. Cause you know, Charlotte's web. Um but yeah, it would have been much better if it was a female, but here we have our Charlotte who is a male. I guess it doesn't really that matter that much. Although it would have been more fitting because Charlotte is a female in that movie. Actually, come to think of it, I only I think they only can be males, because look up here, it doesn't even show. For here, it shows Pack, and then for here, it shows Mothra. But, like, him not. Oh, yeah, Mothra should be female, too. I might fix that. I might just, like, give myself an account. Oh, look at his little walk. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. I know there's an event over here. Yep, that's okay. I've never had a more disruptive and disrespectful group of kids in this class. I'm going to be having a talk with your parents. Don't bother, we aren't coming back. Yeah, we don't have time for this lame school. We only came here because Mabel's mom made her. We tag along to support our friend. If she goes, so do, so do we. Well, if that's the case, then don't let me catch you around my students anymore. Don't worry, we're leaving this lame town. I don't need a school to help me learn about Lumians. I can do it on my own. Hey you, are you here for the school? You look pretty weak, so I bet you are. Well, don't waste your time with this place. Lumian battles don't require any training or strategy. The only thing that matters is sheer power. That is true. Yeah, you gotta keep hitting them. Okay, whatever. This is just cringe. Yeah, what they said. I've always wasted enough time. Already wasted enough time here. Lucy. Lucas. Let's get out of here. Wait, they don't even fight me? That's weird. Those children are very misguided. Mabel, the leader of the three, doesn't even have any Lumians. I simply do not understand where she got her perspective. She believes there are, the, the outcome of a Lumian battle is purely de dedicated by the Lumians' raw strength. 
There is much more to a battle than just strength, though. Why don't you come into the school for a moment, and I can show you what I mean. And here is a wealth of knowledge about Lumian battles. You can discuss with uh, various battle mechanics with each of the students. I would just like to personally explain how your Lumian team works. All the official, all official Lumian trainers are permitted to carry up to seven Lumians, but will, will only be able to use five in a given battle. The last two spots in your lineup are known as your Lumians' bench. Lumians set on the bench will passively gain a small amount of experience as you battle, but they cannot participate in the battle itself. Between battles, you may swap Lumians on and off the bench. With that knowledge, you can begin building your own strategies to comp compete with other trainers. Go ahead and see what else you can learn here before you take off on your adventure. No thanks, I think we already uh, have learned enough. Alright, so through here is all the way to the... Um, the gym for the game so I think I'm gonna end the video right before I get to the gym obviously I'm not gonna show all these battles in the video but um, if you go up there you can go like up this hill here and then you can go across there around there and then up there and you get a coin which is used for these I'm not gonna use that okay I'm not gonna get that today so because I'm not gonna use um, I'm not gonna go hunting in on this account but I will, um, I will just explore the story, that's pretty much what this account is for. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna, like, level up all my Lumians to, like, maximum level. This is just for going through the story, having a fun time. So, I just want to make that clear for you guys. So, uh, I'll see you guys once I'm on the other side of this, uh, whole route. Well, um, okay, so now that we've arrived at Sylvent City, um, look at how beautiful it is. I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Route 3, actually, because there's one more Lumion that we haven't gotten yet. Alright, here we go. Now, so, now that we've had a, uh, Mothra, we obviously can't have... We can't have a Mothra without... A Godzilla. Alright guys, well, now that we've got all of our Lumians and all of our stuff set up, and we're gonna go and beat the gym next, next video, I guess we can end it right here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you really enjoyed. Please, uh, leave a like if you'd like. Subscribe if you like, and um, and if you want more content like this, because it, I it does take me a lot of work to make this, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe even leave a comment if you want. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.